Playing number 10, Virginia Tech in Maryland. That's about 280 miles from Blacksburg, 2,400 miles from Boise. Near Homer for the Hokies, who you saw 1 in 25 all time against AP top five ranked teams. Couple exciting quarterbacks, but it's special teams early. Usually that's advantage Virginia Tech. The Broncos up 3 0 after a Vaughn Tech fumble, and now Virginia Tech punting. And it's Austin Pettis, the wide receiver, the senior wide receiver from Anaheim. He blocks the punt. Boise State recovers. And how many times do we show a guy block? a punt and then catching a touchdown pass. Whenever we edit it that way. Exactly. It's Kellen Moore to Pettis. The block punt in the TD at Boise State up 10 0. The Boise State punting. More special, poor special teams play for the Hokies. DJ Coles roughs the punter. Then on the same plays, called for a late hit. Uh, go big or go home. That's going to be a tough sequence in the film room for Coles. Later in the possession from Prosser Washington, the junior Moore, the Prosser tosser. Back of the end zone, Tommy Gallardo. One handed catch, touch pass, and a great grab by uh, Gallardo. Broncos are up 17-0. Virginia Tech hasn't even crossed midfield. Now it's 20-7. Boise State, third and two, and they're going to kick it around. Doug Martin fumbles. The Hokies recover. So Virginia Tech's defense making something happen. And in the final 65 seconds of the half, here's Tyron Taylor scrambling. you got to be weary of his feet. Tosses to Ryan Williams. Touchdown, 20-14 at the half. Third quarter, Boise State. Third and four, and another turnover. Moore loses it this time out of the shotgun. Getting a little help from his big left tackle, Nate Potter, 6'6", 300 pounds, and 7'3", bumps into his man. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Williams would score a touchdown, 21-20. First time in forever the Broncos have trailed in the second half of a game. Uh, that lead for Virginia Tech lasted about a minute because number six, D.J. Harper, he's got reservations for six. 71 yards for the running back who was hurt early last season. Extra point block, Boise State up five. Next Virginia Tech possession, 51-yard field goal. Chris Hasley misses, penalty on the play, roughing the kicker. Boise State with a special teams blunder. Fourth and five, leading Coach Peterson. Who did that? So, uh, Hokies say, well, let's go for it. And Taylor, first play, Jared Boykin breaks the tackle, end zone touchdown. They go from missed field goal to six points. They went for two, they missed it, they're up by one. Virginia Tech outscoring Boise State 27 to nine in the second and third quarters combined. Fourth quarter, second and nine, Vaught Tech. Uh, told you about the feet. The athleticism by Taylor. You saw he appeared to be down right there. Runs for a first down. The strength to stay up right here. Football, hand down, football on the upside on that palm there. So he's not down. Went for big yardage there, ran for 73 yards on the day, passed for 186. That led to a field goal. It's 30 to 26. Here comes Kellen Moore, under two minutes to go. Boise State in trouble. They are down four. Gabe Linehan, the red shirt freshman, first down. Now with a buck 29 left, no timeouts for the Broncos. Moore to Pettis, left sideline. And then going out of bounds here. Late hit called there. Woo! Wow. Second and 10 from the 13. Moore going to go play action. Pettis back in zone. Touchdown. Five plays, 56 yards, 33-30. The fourth lead change of the game. Will there be a fifth lead change? Virginia Tech. 41 seconds, fourth and 11. Taylor, he's looking for Boykin, and look how close this football comes to being caught right now. Hokies turn it over on downs. Boise State wins 33-30. Recognize the whack. Even if it is Boise State's last season in it. Best preseason ranking ever. They come out of the gates, beat Virginia Tech 33-30, extend their win streak to 15 games. Coach Peterson now 50-4 and as the coach at Boise State. This one thanks in large part to Moore, who threw for 215 yards and three touchdowns. He's with Heather Cox. Back with 27, second quarter. Maryland was up 14-0, now it's 14-7. Third and goal at the one. Adrian Moten, we spot shadowed him. He jumps over the offensive line, sacks Dobbs, forces the fumble. Antoine Perez, recovery, the senior who led the team in sacks and tackles for losses. Eight in the last season, eight plus minute drive ends with nothing. Here you got 12 seconds left in the before the half. Navy with the ball in the Maryland seven. Dobbs, the great rushing quarterback, gets down to the two. Referee's gonna stop the clock. Navy offense gonna run off the field, gonna bring in the field goal unit. Ball's going to be placed. Look at this. Referees resume the play. Navy unable to get the field goal attempt off. 
clock management an issue right there, and you're going to see Kenny Niamatololo, the Navy coach, and Whoa, boy. That's contact. He is not happy. Third quarter, still 14-7. Dobbs, quarterback, keeper, touchdown. No, he fumbles. Maryland recovers. <laughs> Kenny Tate, the helmet on the football pops loose. If we take care of the football, it's a different game. This is how Dobbs put it afterwards. Fourth quarter, 17-14 Maryland. Dobbs down at the one. Navy's trailing by three with 37 seconds left. Nehemiah DeLolo's daughter, a Maryland student, wondered what her dad would do. Runs, goes for it, stopped by Perez and Tate. They get the spot shadow. Nia Matalolo said afterwards he should have kicked the field goal. Navy rushes for 412 yards, has 15 more first downs, owns time of possession, but it's Maryland. 